Welcome, this is Jen Lawler from TheMarketersApprentice.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use a few free tools online to create your very own custom landing page tab. So this is to do it completely on your own. I've set up a brand new Facebook account for me to go through the process from start to finish with you and we'll see how quickly we can get this done. So step one is I'm going to set up a Facebook page. So I've got my account and this is uh, Facebook custom landing page tabs, if you don't know at this point, they are for pages, not profiles. So really key difference here. And we just come to facebook.com forward slash pages. Click on this button up here to create a page. I'm going to select brand or product. And from the drop down menu, I'm going to select website. And I'll put in here a test website, agree to Facebook page terms, and get started. Enter in the CAPTCHA code, submit. All right, so that's how easy it is to set up a page in Facebook. So I'm going to go through and just skip these steps. All right, so here's my Facebook page called Test Website. And what I would do at this point if I was going to do this for real for my business is go up at through and go through the Getting Started guide where I'll add my information. And then I would add a profile image, either have that designed by a professional designer or just add an image of myself for my business. But what we're going to do at this point is we're going to add a third party free application called static HTML iframe tabs. We're going to add that to this page and then I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can use a free online WYSIWYG editor to start creating the contents to put into that application. And what that's going to do is when somebody, a uh, new user, new visitor comes to your page for the very first time, we're going to set it up so that they land on a custom landing page tab of yours. They don't land on your wall, they land on this custom landing page tab. So let's go ahead and the next step is to install this third party application. So you navigate to the page for the, the third party app and then I'm going to click this button to add the static HTML to a page and I'm going to add this to the test website page. So I'll click this button and here on the sidebar I can now see this welcome tab. That's because I've added this third party application to my tab. So if I click on this tab, so this is what I'll see. I'll see two boxes here where we're going to fill in uh, content and this is HTML content. So we're going to need to create this content. This is this box up here is content that non fans will see and then we can also add content that fans will see. So that's the like gate feature. So if we want to create a page so that new visitors who come who aren't fans yet see certain content and then when they click the like button it changes and f the fans actually see different content, this third party application has that functionality. It's really quite nice. So the next thing that we want to do before we go ahead and we create the HTML to fill into these boxes is we want to come to our Facebook page and we're going to set this particular tab, this welcome tab, as our default landing tab. And the way that you do that is you want to come back to the getting started tab and then up to this button edit page. And under the manage permission, permissions, which you should land on by default, you're going to look for this default landing tab and you're going to select welcome and then hit save changes. So what this does is now any new visitors that land on my page are by default going to land on that welcome tab right there. So now our next step is let's go over to the HTML online editor and we're going to actually create the content that we'll paste into these two boxes. Here's the online HTML WYSIWYG editor that we're going to use for this tutorial and Make note, if you're a blog owner that's using WordPress.org for your blogging platform, you can also use the built-in WYSIWYG editor there as well. Basically what you want is just a what you see is what you get uh, HTML editor that enables you to grab the source code. So you can click a button to toggle between you know, what you see and then into the source code. Because what we're looking for is we're going to grab the source code and then paste that into the static HTML iframes tab application. So what we'll do is we'll play around. This is the content that we're going to create for uh, non-fans. So people who are new visitors to our Facebook page that have not ever seen it before. They haven't clicked the like button yet. I'm going to get rid of this copy and I'm going to paste in some copy 
I wrote. I'm going to center it by clicking. You might just need to play around with this Weasley Week editor if you've never used one before. And I'm going to do a little styling. I have to highlight the click like, and then maybe I'll make this a little bit bigger. Make it 18. Okay, so that looks good. Now I need an image. What I want to do is I say click like to watch the video to learn my three biggest mistakes with Facebook marketing. I was a complete fool. You don't want to repeat my mistakes. And I just came up with this random copy just for the purposes of this video, just to show you how easy this is. But what I want to do is put a blurred image of a YouTube thumbnail. So I want it to look like uh, a YouTube video, but I want that image to be all blurred out so that the user, the new visitor that comes to my page knows that they're going to need to click like in order to see this video. So because the whole goal of having a like gate is that you are enticing new visitors to click like to get access to further information because you're trying to build up your fan base. So what I've done is I've grabbed a image of a YouTube uh, thumbnail and we're going to go ahead and we're going to use another free tool called PhotoFlexer. So I'm logged into PhotoFlexer and I'm going to go to upload a photo. I'm going to upload from my desktop a YouTube thumbnail that I grabbed from YouTube. I'm going to open it. All right, so there's my thumbnail. And next thing you want to do is you want to come to beautify within the PhotoFlexer environment and just click on the image. Actually, you probably don't need to click on the image and just hit this smooth button several times and you'll notice as I hit it it's getting blurrier and blurrier. Alright that looks blurry enough for me so I'm going to click the save button and I'm going to save it as a JPEG to my computer. I'm going to call it YouTube Blur JPEG and click save. And that's going to save it to my desktop. Okay, so there is my blurred YouTube video image. And the next thing I want to point out is that Facebook now requires all content to be on secure hosting. So rather than you having to go and purchase secure hosting, what we're going to do is we're going to host your image on a free VPS image hosting service. So all of these links are listed below the video. So no problem, you'll be able to find them again. But we're going to go over to this free VPS uh, hosting. And what we're going to do is upload that image that we just created, YouTube Blur. And we're going to upload it. Okay, so there's my uploaded blurred image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this HTML. I'm going to copy it. And now I'm going to go back into the HTML editor. Now, rather than pasting that HTML here in the what you see version of the WYSIWYG editor, I'm going to click on the source button and I'm going to look for that copy that says I was a complete fool, you don't want to make the same mistakes and then right in here I'm going to insert that HTML for my image. Now I'm going to go back and hit the source button and make sure it looks alright. Okay, that looks good. I might create one line break right there below to make this WYSIWYG editor bigger so we can see more. Okay, I'm actually going to create a line break right in there. Okay, a little bit more space. And I think I'm also going to bold the headline. Boom. Okay, so you don't need to worry about uh, Facebook's iframes need to be 520 pixels maximum in width. You don't even need to worry about that in this process because the static HTML iframes tab application takes care of that for you. So now that we've got the page looking the way that we want it for non-fans, we're going to click the source button and we're going to grab all of this source by just copying it and then heading over to the third party application on your Facebook page. Now we're going to enter this into the top box which is content for non-fans. I'm going to paste it right in there and then we're going to click the preview button. So there you have it. This is the content that non-fans 
are going to see for the very first time they land on your Facebook page. They're going to come by default to this welcome tab and this is what they're going to see. Now when they click like, they're going to go to the fans page. But since I haven't added any content in there yet, it's the same content. So fans and non-fans are going to see this exact same thing because by default, if you don't enter anything into the optional fans only content, it will just by default stay the same content. But we do want to offer different content for our fans. What we want to do is using this example is we want to allow them to see the video once they click like. So we tell them click like to watch the video. Well, we better give them the video. So what we'll do is I'm just going to go ahead and refresh this page so it clears the HTML editor. So now we want to create the content that fans will see. Now for simplicity's sake, what I'm going to do is just show you uh, the video. I'm not going to have any other content but the actual video. So when the, the visitor to your fan page that's not a fan comes there, they see the non-fan content, they hit the like button, and then boom, the content changes and the video appears. Now we'll head over to YouTube and I'll show you how easy it is to grab the embed code and put it into uh, this HTML editor and go ahead and um, show a video to your fans. So I'm just going to click on the first video that I see. I'm going to pause the video, but what I'm going to do is scroll down here to the share button, and then I'm going to click on the embed button, and it's important to pay attention here. You want to click on use HTTPS. Remember I said Facebook requires that all assets are using a secure server. So use the HTTPS version. So then I'm going to go in here and copy the YouTube embed code. And you know, I actually don't even have to use the HTML editor if I'm not going to add any more content to the page. Um, I can go straight into the static iframe app and just add this video right in there. The only problem is the video probably won't be centered. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. I'll go to preview. That's the non-fans content, and then the fans will see this. See, it's not centered, so I would like it to be centered, and I would like it to be a little bit lower down on the page. So let's go into that HTML editor, and what we'll do is we'll go into the source code, and we'll go inside these body tags. I'm going to, I'm going to add the video, and then I'm going to go back to what you see. And don't worry that it just says flash. It'll still work, and I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to center it, and I'm also going to make it a little bit lower down the page. And now I'm going to go to the source, and I'm going to grab this code and head into the static HTML iframes tab. I'm going to go back, scroll down to the fans content, and I'm going to write right over on top of that, and let's see how it looks now. Go to preview. So that's what my non-fans see, and don't worry, your uh, any visitors to your page won't see it in the same way. It's the reason I'm seeing this part of, of the page is because I'm an admin here. So that's what the public will see. And then when they click like, they'll go and the video will appear. Now it's centered. It's a little bit lower on the page. It looks nice. I could have added some content above. I could even add, you know, an autoresponder form code, you know, just go into Aweber and grab the HTML for a form for my page. All sorts of different things you can add to your page. Logos, you name it, you can add it. With these three free tools, the HTML editor, PhotoFlexer, and the v free VPS image hosting, you can do a heck of a lot. Oh, and I should add the third-party app. So we've added, we've used three tools, online tools, and then we've also added the third-party app to our page. We can add a lot more tabs using this static HTML iframes tab, and you can just go ahead and have fun with it, play around with it, and create as many custom landing page tabs as you like for absolutely free. So I hope this has helped you, and have fun on Facebook.